Bye! I'm Itu, and this is the vlog for Sound Horizons, a procedural rhythm game that will get released next month. So what can we have before that? Last time, I've managed to make the game easier for some players, but it was still too easy for others. And I kinda like challenging rhythm games, so this needs to be fixed. Naturally, one solution could be to implement difficulty settings. But remember the last time I talked about difficulty and generating phrases? Yeah, this could actually take some time. And I'm not sure it would be worth it, because the phrases on the last layer might already be the maximum difficulty the game can offer. There is an easier way to provide an optional challenge. One that completely fits in a rhythm game. A score. If you watch my video for some time, you might remember that I'm not fond of scores. I hate scores! Scores are the worst! Don't put numbers in my games! Well, I kinda changed my mind. Because score is a good way to add replayability here. It doesn't affect casual players who just want to get to the end of the level, but if skilled players want to have a perfect ranking, well, they have to avoid making any mistakes. It's thus an invisible extra challenge. I describe the score system in details in a written post on each I.O. However, that's not really enough. There's another idea I had in mind since the very beginning of development. I wanted to add two additional modes to the game that you unlock by finishing it. And the first one is called Synesthetic Mode. As you can imagine, this didn't take long to implement. I just had to add the fading effects on the note, and other than that, it's the same game, but with a completely different experience. It's a powerful quick win. Its original name was Blind Mode, but Synesthetic is less intimidating and focuses more on the auditive aspect of the mode. I find rhythm games more satisfying when they make you really paying attention to the music. It's something I already made in a previous rhythm game and that you can even see in my main inspirations. This mode is here to make you listen closely and use your pure rhythm skills. I was afraid it would actually be too hard, but surprisingly, after trying it, I felt that it wasn't that tedious. In some way, it made the game even easier. Maybe because that was already the way I played the game? And of course, also because I had a lot of training at my own game. Nevertheless, I find it really satisfying to play. Pressing a button and hearing a note being validated, it feels like catching something in midair. And it almost makes you believe that you are playing your own melodies. Actually, playing your own melodies, wouldn't that be nice too? After beating the synesthetic mode, the final reward for the player is the free mode, which was actually already implemented, at least partially. At the end of the level, before exiting, player can freely play with the instruments. Free mode is the same, but for every layers. Once again, the way the game is implemented made it easy to develop. The animations are already connected to the sound effects, there are events that can be triggered to switch layers, Everything was already planned from the beginning. What actually took the most time was the UX. How to present modes in the menu and a special tutorial for the new controls. This mode also benefits from the last polishing I made, notably on the instruments and melodies that I remade in some parts to make them sound nicer. The game is also now fully compatible with controllers. Everything is almost ready for the launch. Which is now really close. The only thing left are some minor bug fix and polishing here and there. And then it'll be the big date and you will be able to play Sound Horizons. I guess my priority now should be marketing. Never be my forte, but I'll do what I can. Let me remind you that Sound Horizons will be completely free, so don't hesitate to put it to your wishlist so that you can try it and recommend it and... Well, I don't know, we'll see when it's out. We are right on schedule, there is nothing now that could slow me down. Thank you very much for watching, see you very soon.